HTML5 and CSS tutorials for beginners, responsive web design, and media queries. On the screen, we have viewport sizes. And as you know, there are many, many different mobile devices using many screen resolutions. So you can go ahead and try to target all of these individually when you create your websites. Or you can identify the visitors who will interact with your website and then identify the most used mobile devices, whether it's iPads, whether it's laptops, whether it's iPhones or Galaxy 5, 7, 8 phones and all that stuff. Because ideally, you have many different ways to make sure that your website is mobile ready. You can begin by using a meta tag to target the viewport. This is to do with responsive web design. I'm not going to go in depth and try and explain what's going on here. It's to do with you know, zooming, pixel density, all that stuff. But you don't need to get confused, right? Instead, because you now understand CSS units measurement, that means when you're creating your web pages or HTML documents to accomplish responsive design, you need to start using responsive values such as percentages, such as viewport width. Makes sense? So you need to then target the sizes using responsive values whether they are m's make sense so that's what css offers you for responsive web design you should not be using just pixels on the main containers but rather use percentage values or other units of measurement to target you know sizes of web elements and with css3 you also have flex as in display flex it will you know the containers is in the the blocks that you're creating is in the layout whether they are sections articles sidebars you can actually flex them as well so you know a bit more research on your part and a bit more learning will allow you to create a responsive web design ideally what i can suggest to you is just create a layer that is responsive regardless of any device people interact with your website or with your client's website make sense because most people they end up saying you know just target iPads because no you should just create one website layer that renders according to the device people use because then you have one website that is fully responsive and then you can focus on other elements furthermore we have an option for media queries let's try and understand what these mean they are straightforward you can say as an example when the media which is the device people use when the the viewport becomes 400 pixels maximum so whether people zoom in or whether people use different devices that's irrelevant in this example and then you can say at that point all the css that's above let's leave them aside and yet let's use what we define within media queries and there are many different sizes that you can target whether it is maximum width or you can say minimum width if the device has minimum width 480 pixels in this example then do these add paddings if you want change font sizes and so on so responsive web design can be a little bit tricky because of so many different options as far as how people use technology mobile technology 
So the best advice that I can share with you is focus on using responsive values in your wit because then your website and your web pages will be responsive. And then look into media queries. Do not use them for the sake of using them because then you need to make sure the media only queries are also used at its minimum to accomplish that great responsiveness. Make sense? So remember, just because these options are available to you does not mean you should end up you know, targeting maximum width 480 and then for iPads, maximum width 768 pixels and all that stuff. Make sense? And accomplishing responsive design is not that hard because you at least have the core understanding of cascading style sheets that you've been learning through these video sessions. Now, check out the description of this video because I will provide this sample template for you that already has many different styles attached including CSS3 specific tags as well, as in values, gradients for different browsers as well, whether it's Mozilla or WebKit or Opera. In either case, I believe you have the knowledge to create beautiful websites that's fully focused on usability and readability and now you at least have core insights for responsive web design and media queries. And I'll talk with you in the next video session.